Your pituitary gland produces several important hormones, which are substances that help your body work well. One of those hormones is called growth hormone. When your body doesn't produce enough growth hormone, you may have a condition known as growth hormone deficiency, or GHD. For children and adolescents, GHD can affect how your body grows. It can also impact your heart, muscles, bones, and mood. Having congenital GHD means you were born with it. Acquiring GHD means your GHD developed during your lifetime. Causes can include pituitary tumors, pituitary surgery, brain radiation, or traumatic brain injury. GHD can have many different signs and symptoms. Children with GHD may grow slowly and may be smaller than other children their age. Adults with GHD may develop weak muscles, mood changes, heart problems, weak bones, or low energy. Healthcare professionals screen for GHD in children by weighing and measuring your height regularly. They screen for GHD in adults by asking about your symptoms, medical history, and history of head injuries. If your healthcare professional thinks you might have GHD, they will recommend further testing to check your growth hormone level. A growth hormone stimulation test is performed to diagnose GHD by measuring your body's ability to produce growth hormone when given a GH-stimulating medication. Healthcare professionals treat GHD by giving you GH replacement therapy. This medication replaces the growth hormone that your body doesn't make enough of on its own. This medication is usually given with daily or weekly injections. You or your caregiver can learn how to give these injections at home. GHD medication helps children grow and helps adults stay healthy and strong. It's important to take your GHD medication exactly as recommended. If you have GHD, see your healthcare professional regularly to monitor your symptoms, check your growth hormone level, and adjust your medication dose if needed. As you get older, you may continue to need GHD care and treatment even if you've grown to your anticipated height. For adolescents, Retesting is usually recommended once growth plates fuse to determine if GH replacement therapy is still required. To decide whether you should continue treatment, you and your healthcare professional should consider all of the possible benefits and risks relevant to you. By taking an active role in your GHD care and working closely with your healthcare professionals, you can improve your well being. Learn more about GHD by visiting ace.com/slash GHD. Support provided in part by Novo Nordisk.